Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to ShortSellPower.com. I'm Fred. He's Kevin. It's Wednesday. Hope you had a good Fourth of July weekend, and uh, we're here to talk about uh, a short sale. Well, hold on. Uh, since it's no longer before the Fourth of July, if oh. you have not purchased your tickets for short sales gone wild in San Jose, California, on August Fourth, you've already missed out on a discount. Now, there's another early bird discount available to you for a few more days, but you've already missed out on the low, low ticket price that happened pre-4th of and July. don't cry to me about, can I get a code? No, we will not refund no. the difference. No. I'll take out sales for final. Register, you're good. Cool. And if you want a short sales uh, gone wild event coming to your city, please fill out a form on our yeah. website. Come to my office. If We've you already can, had a couple forms filled out in the past week. If you can put together a room of 100 people or help us put together a room of 100 people or so, uh, maybe you're a team leader or you know a team leader or an office manager, uh, or a board of realtors in your city and state, mm -hmm. let us know. We'd be happy to work something out and come to your town and teach short sales gone wild. Okay, so back to my short sales story. So working on a short sale with Bank of America. Which um, is always fun. Yep, the investor on the short sale is Fannie Mae. It's shocking. And um, it might shock you to, to hear me say that I had to run a BPO dispute with Fannie Mae. No. Oh yeah. That and, never happened. And it might shock you even more to hear that it was in a condo subdivision. No. Which which in my mind is like the easiest of all like subdivisions to comp a property in, right? Because they're all the same unit. They're right there in the same like little block. I mean, how can it get any more difficult? So anyway, long story fight the BPO value, get the buyer to bring their offer up a little bit, okay, but right. fight the BPO value in a major way, bring the BPO value down from what was like 95,000 down to like 70 something, right? A big a big dispute. Huge difference. Then Fannie Mae comes back and says, well, we don't want to pay the HOA fees. Of course they don't. Of course they don't. So in this particular situation, um, I actually went to the homeowner and worked with them to get their agreement to pay for the HOA fees, right? Yeah. Okay, and they did that. But the story I want to bring up today is that even though my homeowners agreed to do that, um, I just want to fill you in a little something I'm doing behind the scenes right now. I have continued to escalate the, the issue. I've got somebody at Bank of America right now submitting an exception request to Fannie Mae to get the HOA fees paid for. Good. And I honestly believe this, these are the kind of things that we need to do as agents. Not just for our homeowners because I hate seeing homeowners have to pay $1,200 HOA bills. But more so because I hate seeing Fannie Mae win when somebody else agrees to pay the HOA fees. Yeah, no, I mean that, that's completely, yeah. it's crap. Now, now hear me on this. I believe that our homeowners have responsibility to do their very best to keep up their HOA payments. This particular homeowner, this HOA has thrown some nasty fees their way. They actually have a trustee sale monitoring fee this HOA company charges. They charge like a seventy-five dollar fee to monitor the trustee sale. That's that's a, just a ripoff. Like you know what? I'm so sick of HOA companies and management companies. Like hey, government. I'm I'm glad you're passing over the homeowner. all these laws around Mars and stuff. Yeah. Why don't you pass a flipping you, law for HOA companies to stop charging made-up fees? Pass a law that actually protects the freaking consumer for once. Yeah. Just for once. Okay, so that was a side topic. Anyway, back to the story. So the idea here is what I want you to know is that you can actually continue negotiating a short sale even after you have an approval. I already have the homeowner agreeing to pay the HOA fees. I received the approval on the short sale yesterday. After I received the approval though, I went back and asked for an exception to be made. Nice. And I made sure that when I asked for it, I said, now I want to know for sure that this is not going to in any way, shape or form affect the current approval I have, meaning that they can withdraw it or change it. And I have in writing from the B of A representative, who's a manager I've worked with before saying, no, you have an approval. We already have it on file. It's good. It's valid. Nothing can be changed, but I will submit an exception request. And that's the extra kind of stuff you can do for your homeowners yes. and you can do to fight the investors that want to just not pay HOA fees. Because I tell you what, if I'm able to get some or all the HOA paid for, I'm going to have one happy homeowner now who's going to refer me a lot of deals because she's already expecting to pay over $1,000 on oh, yeah. HOA fees. Absolutely. So I just want to share that. I thought it's a good lesson in what goes on behind the scenes in short sale negotiation that even when we have an approval, it doesn't always mean we're done negotiating. Well, absolutely. It doesn't We've taken approvals at 5% just to get the approval and have it in and hand back and then gone back and negotiated for a higher commission and escalated the file. Absolutely. Why not? Why wouldn't we? Anyway, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Sign up for Short Sales Gone Wild. Fill out a come to my office request form if you'd like to put a group of 100 or more people together for us and come back on Friday for another episode. And hey, if you're already signed up for Short Sales Gone Wild, because by the way, there's been a lot of tickets sold just from the first yeah, few days. Yeah, we've done really well. Tell your friends. Uh, tell the other people in your office. Tell the other agents. Agents you know from a different office. Bring them on down, like let's get as many people there as possible. It's gonna be a great class. It'll be our first time rolling out this new content and uh, I can guarantee you don't wanna miss it. 
I'm excited. All right, one, two, three. Short sale power hour. Short sale power hour. Crush it. Did you like that?